Hey everybody, I'm Crazy Mike, welcome to, uh, I believe, the third episode of, the, I believe, the fifth season. I believe, I believe, uh, anyway, uh, welcome to the third episode of the fifth season, I think, of Dark Souls, uh, I almost said Dark Souls 2, I'm so hyped for the game, thinking everything is Dark Souls 2. One downside of playing the Dark Souls 2 beta is, Dark Souls 1 seems significantly more boring now, and I mean that in the best possible way. I mean, you know, not so boring that I'm just, oh, I'm tired of it now. It's just not quite as fun. It's still fun, just not quite as fun. But there was actually a lot of concern about the Dark Souls 2 beta because uh, stun locking was kind of an issue. But again, some people dumped all the points they had into agility. They were able to get like, agility up to like 40. And, uh, oh god, stop it. And, uh, you know, there was a couple of clips where somebody, you know, would they would get hit by, like, a Zweihander, and then they would actually be able to get their shield back up. So it looks like, you know, might be kind of be able to... It looks like... It's also believed that Poise might have actually been disabled in the beta, because people were getting stunlocked by weapons where... They probably shouldn't have gotten stunlocked by that amount of Poise. I mean, I believe it actually says how much Poise break each weapon has now, so that's pretty cool. You don't need to like check online and be like, how much pause do I need to not get stunned by all these ultra great swords people are using? You just be like, oh, okay, I got an ultra great sword, let me take a look. Oh, okay, 73 over 9,000 points. Okay, I can get that much poise or whatever. So it seems like poise is. A, I, I get the feeling that poise is going to be more about like not getting stunned by like a first hit as opposed to what it was kind of used for in Dark Souls, where it's like, okay, I got a lot of poise, nothing can stop me now. I feel like poise is going to be used more for like, okay, I'm gonna, probably going to be using weapons where I'm probably going to be trading blows a lot. So I want poise so that I stun them out of their attack. and they, Or, you know, I want more poise so that if they happen to hit me first, it won't cancel out my attack and I can just smack them back with an even harder weapon or something. While agility is going to be more about, like, okay, yeah, my attacks can get interrupted, but... Uh, like, okay, yeah, my attacks can get interrupted, but it, I'm not going to get stun locked to death. Which could be interesting. Ooh, I'm gonna just walk right off the edge. Ah! Stop throwing your knives at my sword. You are no might for all, Taurus. Ah. Yeah, and I was, I was considering for a while whether or not I wanted to, uh, record or stream my first playthrough of Dark Souls 2 and I ended up uh, going with recording because for my first playthrough I want everything to be you know the way it would be if I was playing you know by myself and what that I mean I'm still gonna obviously do commentary over it and what that but uh, you know I don't want to be doing a stream and having a bunch of people on the stream placing their white signs helping me out I want it to be how it would be if I were to just play this, not with a YouTube channel or anything like that, or I mean, you know, not as a streamer or anything, just play it as anybody else would, and just experience it the exact same way. Recording really helps with that. On top of that, I just got the feeling it's gonna be like, <laughs> I just got this feeling there's gonna be like one asshole in the in my Twitch chat that's gonna like have gotten the game like one day early and just spoil where all the secrets are. Oh God, please no! Don't, I definitely don't want that to happen. So, you know, probably I'm going to beat the, I mean, don't don't worry about, like, oh, he's never going to stream it now, it's going to take him forever to beat it. No, I'm going to beat it pretty quick. I mean, I did beat the portion of the beta in half the time that they allowed us in the beta, which is pretty quick. I mean, I'm, again, don't mistake this for me saying it's easy. No, it was hard. It was a lot harder than the stuff I deal with in Dark Souls. I'm just pretty experienced with Souls games, so I was able to kind of just... You know, the skills kind of, you know, the, the skills from one Souls game translate to another Souls game very well. You see a problem, you're like, okay, I think I can, I think I know how to do this, handle this, and then you handle it. But, you know, it did all feel new, it felt fresh, and it was really fun. But, uh, yeah. Also, one thing, I forget if I mentioned this. I think I was starting to mention this in the last episode, and I ended up sidetracking myself. 
One thing I really like is it seems like PvP is going to be more incorporated into like your PvE play. Like, you know, you're gonna be like, okay, time to just go ahead and play through the game. Oh, I'm dying a lot, now my health bar is so low because it drains each time I die. But, uh, I think when you invade somebody and you kill them, you get your health bar restored to full. I'm not 100% sure. I know you get an item. I forget if it's like a human effigy or if it's like, uh, or if it's a covenant based item. But if it's like a human effigy or if it's like if you just come back with your health bar restored to full, that would be the most perfect thing ever because it would incorporate PvP into PvE. People would, you know, they would be getting beat up in PvE. They would be like, okay, my health's too low. Time to invade somebody. Like, you know, as an actual invasion, not purely doing this for the PvP. And, you know, let's invade somebody, try to get my health bar back. Or help them, because, you know, go up signs. That's, main, well, that's one of the main things I really liked about Demon Souls. It incorporated PvP into PvE. In Dark Souls, they feel like two completely separate things, other than when you're trying to get through PvE, and somebody who's playing for PvP invades you. That's the main thing I don't like about how it's kind of split. You can be doing PvE, and you invade, and somebody who's decked out for PvP is all set to go, and they invade you, and... Oh, wow, never knocked him down like that. But in Demon Souls, I mean, you would get invaded by somebody who wasn't necessarily decked out for PvP just because they wanted to get their human form back. And it would end up being kind of an even fight because, you know, they would generally be invading you in the same area that they were stuck in, and, you know, you're around the same level. It was really cool. And, you you know, it was assumed that you would have about the same amount of upgrades. Obviously, somebody would have a slight advantage over the other. But, you know, it's more chaotic. It was more fun. And that's what I... I oh, God. That was one hell of a lunge there, buddy. I don't know, I mean, that was just... Whoa, I remember that lunge. Oh, no! Oh, that hurt. Oh, I hit that roll button so long ago. It was, like, just as I got hit. But I just it remembered it, I guess. Alright, he's dead. Okay. I remember somebody was actually tweeting me earlier today about uh, how they they suggested that they should really add like a like a whiffed attack in Dark Souls, you know, like a fake attack. It looked like you're about to swing. Oh god, I forget exactly what it had to do. It either had to do with baiting out, making them parry, or to trick them into attacking, so that you can get a parry. Uh, either way, I don't really feel it's necessary. You can trick them into parrying even without that, you know, just two-handed weapons start running up to them, yeah, they're obviously going to assume that you're going to attack, and they'll go for a parry if they're the parrying sort. And if you want to bait out and attack yourself, uh, I mean, uh, if you want to bait out one of their parries, you can just run up and, and push them with the new push move. And on top of that, if they do try to parry, you'll probably break their blocks, so, yeah. And if you want to bait them, if you want to bait them into a parry, all you gotta do is start, uh, I mean, you can't really bait them into swinging for the most part. But, you know, doing a fake swing is definitely not going to bait them into swinging. Because why would they want to swing when you're swinging? They would want to, you know, parry or block. I forget the exact the guy's exact wording. Cause, mainly because I didn't really understand 100% what he was saying. But all I know is it had something to do with faking an attack and it had something to do with parries. But whether it's... Whether he was talking about uh, himself doing a parry or making the other guy into parrying, it's really not necessary. There's a lot of ways to fake out people without needing a fake attack and what that. Also, one thing I like is that if I'm sprinting and I hit the button again, I like because maybe I want to roll, I won't jump. I'll actually roll, which I love. Instead, now when you're sprinting and you want to jump, you oh god. Well, you guys know the drill. I've said this in other seasons. At this point, I restart just to avoid invasions. It's only at this point in the game. Just because I do not want to deal with the gargoyles and archers again. Apologies if you think that's scummy of me, but this is the only place in the game I do that. It's not even necessarily because, oh, I'm not good at the archers. I, I, I do it consistently. But it's just annoying. I feel I don't like it. Too many bad memories. Ghost of Christmas Post. Anyway. Dislikes button's down there if you want to hit that now.
Although there was a lot more uh, parry and uh, backstab animations in uh, Dark Souls 2, which I really liked. Uh, one of my favorite one was with the halberd. I don't know if this also applies to the spear, but if you backstab somebody with a halberd, you basically just string them up on the halberd. You uh, stab them in the back and you lift them in the air, and it's crazy. And then you just like fling them off of it. Definitely my backstab of choice. Also, they got rid of the mechanic with halberds where if you miss an attack, your guy kind of stumbles. At least I think they did. It's, it, se it seemed like it. But, uh, you, know, and, you know, in turn, though, attacking at point blank, it does reduce damage with the halberd because it's, mo it's meant to be a long range weapon. You know, it's got the, uh, it's got a pole at the bottom, blade at the top, so hitting with the pole obviously won't do as much damage as hitting with the blade. Can I repost these guys one handed and still one shot them? Oops. Seems like it. Yeah, okay, good. I like that. I like that. That's alright by me. Might have to fight Ornstein and some of Solo. No Solaire to back me up. Because I didn't talk to him back at the Gargoyles. I decided, man, yeah, I didn't feel like wasting the time that time. Hey, you know, I think I can handle Ornstein and Smoke Solo. I think I did it with the whip, so. Pff, I could do it with the whip, or I could do it with the Artorias setup. Wait, why am I going around this way? Alright, I'm going to take out the Archer without needing to piss off the Giants. Normally I go this way because I want to be able to summon Solaire before aggroing anything, but uh, yeah, I forgot. Superman Archer is also a bitch sometimes. Two handed anyway, even though I just established I can one hand post them. What can I say? It's an old habit. Old habits. I hey, Solaire's sign is there. What do you know? I guess you don't have to ever talk to him in like a New Game Plus playthrough because it's just gonna be here. It seems. Where's the other giant? Where's the other giant? Oh, he's over there. Okay, cool. I'm alright with that. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I have a lot of poise. You still stunned me. You son of a bitch. Okay, phew. I was hoping that would stun him. He's running out of options. No, finish him off. There we go. Running low on Estus. I don't know why. I feel like I have life gems. I guess. Well, I mean, I know why. It's because I played the Dark Souls 2 beta, and it was so fun. I'm not. Apologies if it sounds like I'm gloating about it. It just. It was so good. I'm not trying to. If it sounds like I am. But yeah. Once I do get Dark Souls 2, I feel like there's not going to be much reason to go back to Dark Souls 1, unfortunately. Especially if they do shut down, uh, I mean, they are going to shut down Games from this Live, but... Some people have said, like, oh, I hear they're porting it over to Steamworks, but... All I've ever heard is people mention that they never provided a link or any proof or ever heard anything from, from software to say that. I mean, somebody said, like, oh, they tweeted about it, but it was, like, quickly removed. It's probably because when Microsoft didn't want to be public knowledge yet. I call bull. It's easy to f just Photoshop a tweet like that and then just say, "Well, they removed it." I mean, come on. Until until it's said there, I'm going to be not cautiously optimistic, like a level below that. I'm going to be hopeful, but I'm going to assume it's not going to happen. I mean, it would be nice. I mean, the game was released like on PC at least. It was released about a year ago, so you know that hasn't been that long. And hopefully, if it does, the netcode would be a lot better. Stop beating me in a freaking boss kill f speed f racer fight. There we go. Slayer, he almost died. 
You fought that guy too hard. You need to play more defensively, buddy. Alright, Smooth's dead. Alrighty. Ho oh, ho! That was a close one. Huh. Where are you going? Oh god, I never like that move. It hurts so bad when it hits you, I think. If I'm thinking of it the right way. If I'm thinking of the right way, well, maybe it's this one that hurts really bad. Yep, okay. I'm gonna just heal up over here if you don't mind. Oh, that one actually, that one did hurt Solaire pretty bad. Oh no! Mm, cool, well, Solaire's dead. Had to do this all on my own, apparently. Thanks a lot, Solaire. I'm just kidding, you are a valuable asset for, fa for phase one of this fight. Sorry for the lack of commentary. In this moment, I'm pretty focused. Do gotta take on Super Super Ornstein all on my own. Some, and I can die pretty easily. Wouldn't take much for him to kill me. Oh, this is a moment I need to get away, and hopefully come back and smack him once. Do it again. Ah, I like when he gets in the loop where he just does that move over and over, because I can just keep running away and then doing a sprinting attack back. That move's fun too, because I can usually I dodge it like 98% of the time, I'd say. Just because it's actually pretty easy to dodge once you know how. Move again. No, oh, okay. Whew. It's banging on that killing him. Otherwise, I might have died there. I don't think I need to pick up that ring. Big Aerovader. Big, big Aerovader. Ah. Anyway, as per usual, because you guys seem to love it so dang much, or at least I assume. Right, it's actually kind of dark there, but oh well. That's all you get for free. <laughs> anyway, with that uh, taken care of, I believe that'll end this particular episode. So, you know, again, if I can think of more Dark Souls 2 things to talk about, I'll talk about them. But, until then, I will see you guys next time.